she needs to stay to pay back her debts, said Shiro Sasaki, Secretary General of the Zentoitsu, All United, Workers' Union, who has advocated on her behalf and said such threats were common. Trainees from China have been declining as wages there rise with economic growth, while in Vietnam, unemployment is high for youth with high education levels, so many young people want to go abroad to work, said Futaba Ishizuka, a research fellow at the Institute of Developing Economies, a think tank. Such problems will persist and could worsen under the new system, aimed at easing a historic labor shortage, according to interviews with activists, academics, unionists and trainees. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, whose conservative base fears a rise in crime and a threat to the country's social fabric, has insisted that the new law, enacted in December, does not constitute an immigration policy that worries critics. Growing numbers The trainees system began in 1993 with the aim of transferring skills to workers from developing countries. But persistent abuses developed early on, experts say. Those issues were spotlighted last year during debate over the new law. A labor ministry survey published in June showed more than 70% of trainee employers had violated labor rules, with excessive hours and safety problems most common. That compared to 66% for employers overall. Harsh conditions led more than 7,000 trainees to quit in 2017, experts say, many lured by shady brokers promising fake documentation and higher paying jobs. Almost half were from Vietnam. Addressing shortages A second category of visas, currently limited to the construction and shipbuilding industries, allows workers to bring families and be eligible to stay longer. The textile industry was not included in the new visa program after coming under fire for the high number of labor violations in its trainee programs. Now she wishes she could bring her family and stay longer than three years. For-profit employment agencies and individuals can register as liaisons between recruiters and employers. These registered support organizations will not need licenses. But Sasaki said the agency's focus would be residence status, not labor conditions. But the rush to implement the new law has left local authorities worried that too little has been done to support and integrate more foreigners. Takashi Takayama, whose Vietnamese name is Cao Sun Kui, fled Vietnam as a refugee in 1979. He recalled how foreigners were laid off in droves after the 2008 global financial crisis and fears a similar scenario when demand for labor eases after the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. When the Olympics are over, I think a tragic event will occur, Takayama said at a Vietnamese New Year celebration at a Catholic church outside Tokyo. I don't want to see that.